performance today, um, but it comes down to two set pieces. It's been a difference against what I think are um, a really, really good side. I think Grimsby will be in the shake-up at the end of the season. Uh, but we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them today. Um, disappointed with both the goals, you know, two set plays. Um, maybe it's one of our Achilles heels. We just seem to switch off a little bit when the ball goes dead. We give players, designate players uh, jobs to do. Sometimes they do them, most of the time they do them, we've just got that little lapse and as I say, that's the fine lines of football at any level, whether you're in the, you know, the Barclays Premiership, um, all conference where we are, you know, fine lines decide football games and I don't think there's much in the game, you know, nip and tuck, nip and tuck, um, they just seem to shut it up a little bit the second half, lose their experience which they've got. But uh, I'm not disappointed. I was actually more disappointed last Saturday when we won the game. Then I, um, I thought it was a, a decent performance. As I say, we just got to keep learning and you know, cut out the, the silly mistakes and certainly switch on set plays. It's a measure, though, of how far you've come, isn't it, uh, with a performance like that today? Your consistent performances now, week in, week out. Yeah, we're a, we're a decent side. People know that, you know, the, the Grimsby guys, it's quite easy to say when you've won the game, but they've, they've said we've given them a really good game. So we, we, we take hard from that. I think there's a lot of positives today. I really, really think there's a lot of positives from the game. Things we need to be better. Um, but, you know, set plays today where we usually work a little bit on Thursday night when I'm with three of the starting 11 are sitting in the treating room just getting patched up a little bit, so we couldn't get as much done and it's... That's, I'm not using that as an excuse, I'm just racking my brains to see you know, what could we have done better. Um, it's gone against us today, but I'll go home, I'll sit in the car. Yeah, relatively sort of positive, you know, that we pushed a side that I believe will be there or there about. All the way, with a little bit more luck, you know, we could get something out of the game. But, uh, credit to the lads, can't fault their work effort, uh, ethic today. Brilliant. As, as a group, we're going okay. So uh, we need to put this one behind us and we'll get a good week ahead and give some of the injured boys more time to come back and some leg work into one or two that need it. Um, even people who are playing, I, th I think they need a little bit of effort. Uh, you, you see that from up here as well as I can see from across there. So uh, we'll use this week as best we can and get ready for what will be a tough game on set. Uh, Phil Trainer, we think, has clocked up five yellow cards, so he's got a suspension coming up. And also Richard Davis going off at half time. Was that a, an injury? Richard, to be honest, I thought he was just um, struggling with the pace of the game a little bit. And I just felt, you know, the way that I knew Grimsby, they've got a really good defensive record. I just felt we'd rather than energy, we needed a passer. And Nathan came on. I was quite pleased with Nathan. Richard's done great. Just horses for courses. Um, you know, that's what you need a squad for. Different people give you different things. Um, just when we're needing a little bit more in certain areas, we didn't quite have it today. But uh, you know, we've come up short today, but only just. But that gives us half because uh, when we've been not far away from any of the sides that we've played this year, uh, just fine lines uh, sometimes determine whether we're winning games, winning games or losing games. You mentioned about uh, Grimsby being real promotion contenders. What about your own hopes for this season, you, your own targets? Because we are uh, quickly revising what we thought may have been the case after what happened Ian last Miller season. Um, do you think? you can stay in this top 10 or you think you can even push a bit higher? I think we're capable of staying in the top 10. Uh, I certainly think we're capable of being in, in and around where we are now and once you're there, who knows? You know, you look at Southport last year. Um, what we have got, we've got, we've got goals on our side. I think there's only three or four teams scored more than us. We're just still, if I'm being brutally honest, we're just still struggling to bridge the gap that year. We need to, you know, if you look at Grimsby, I thought they were a little bit sharp. But that comes from training day in, day out, injuries being seen day in, day out, uh, personal fitness trainers, nutritionists, all that sort of stuff. That'll come for us. So we're just, that's where teams score against us a little bit. But I'll give, you know, we're moving forward. Targets, I don't know. I would quite happily stand here and say, you know, the sooner we get 50 points, the better. Because 50 points will give us another shot next year to build again. But you know, that's not a negative. I'm not looking past that. But I know roughly what we're capable of being. I think we are where we are at the minute. Could go that way. About fortnight, you could go that way. So uh, that's up to us. Every game's important.